Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl. I'm back again with another review for the Monday Night Ratchet reality TV shows. Feel me? Let's get into this. Let's jump right on in. Starting with um, Love and Hip Hop. Let's just go there. Um, It wasn't too much foolery. You know, this episode, it was more like, um, like kind of like a catch up, like what was happening last week or whatever. But um, I kind of, I'm on the fence about Joe Buttons talking about he's, he's going to finally support Tahiri and talking about going with her to go, you know, talk to her father because, you know, she got a little, you know, relationship issues that, you know, a lot of, you know, females that daddy jump ship, you know, they tend to have, you know, little, little issues, you know, and that's not your fault, you know, your daddy should have been there. You feel me? But I don't know. I think, to me, I feel like Joe has, like, like a, like a motive behind it. I don't know if he's, like, truly, like, genuinely, like, really, like, trying to, you know, ha hold her hand and, like, help her out. Like, how she's been doing him all these years. Even them not being together, she's still, like, holding him down. So, I don't know. We'll have to see and let it unfold, but... I think Joe was up to no good. I think he really trying to get her over there, you know, stuff to the Dominican, you know, when she talked to her dad so he can get a little smash, smash away from his girlfriend, if you ask me. But moving on from that, um, Rocky, like I said, I still don't like Rocky. I still think she's a crookabanga, jump off, a ski skirt, a smash and dash type chick. You know what I'm saying? I really don't like her, like, she was crying at the table, talking to Yandy and L'Oreal, talking about how, like, oh, these few people are going around trying to ruin my reputation. I don't think the few people going around are ruining your reputation. Um, you ruin your own reputation by you talking too much and you doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, be really, son. Let's Let's really be real. Don't blame it on the people. Look in the mirror. Take responsibility of what you do. That's all I'm saying. But, the, like, the fake, like, to me, like, when she was crying, those look like fake tears. Those didn't look like she was, like, really hurt. Like, it was just like, oh, fake tears. And is it me? Y'all, I don't know. But at, when I look at Rocky and when she be looking on camera, does she have, like, a cock eye or a lazy eye, like, somewhere around it? Because I be looking like... Is she looking at her? Is she looking at her? Or is she going to sleep? I don't know. But uh, one of her eyes look a little funny. Funny, if you ask me. I'm just saying, though. Um, I really liked Mendeecees this episode. Like, I give him, like, three thumbs up if I have three thumbs to give. Like, he really, like, stepped up and, like, he became that man. Like, he did that. Like, he was, like... I'm serious. He's like, I don't see nobody else for me. He's like, I'm trying to make my family work. I'm going after my woman. If she want a nice house, cop that. Hello. Oh, if she want to get married, mm, got the ring. And the ring was flawless. Beautiful, honey. Great pick. Cop that. You feel me? So, like, he went out for his woman. Like, the way which was just set up was, like, so cute. And it was, like, romantic coming from a man that's not romantic but it, it was just beautiful i loved it you know kudos to to mandy C's for stepping it up you know go and get that grown woman you heard me because anybody that's gonna ride or die for you through the house getting raid and they looking for drugs and just trying to seize money and then you over here you know messing with you know chick a chick that was underage and just all this other type of stuff. Like, she's been with you through the the, the downs of the downs. So like, anybody that's going to ride with you through all of that, you will want to put a ring on it. I'm just saying. But, you know, that was a beautiful thing. Um, Yeah, Tahiri, she didn't really have too much going on. Like, she visited, her mama came over. And, oh, my God, I have to say, Tahiri, I know Tahiri, mama, uh, Booty like that. Oh, my goodness. I said, that's where Tahiri get it from her damn mama. Her mom booty was out of this world. I said, girl, well, you better go ahead and work there, mom dudes. 
Okay. But um, I, it was just like sad. It kind of touched my heart. You know, she's talking about her dad. Like, how the hell is you going to forge her mama's signature for the divorce? To divorce her. Oh, and she didn't know about it. Ciao. Y'all ain't going to worry me. A lot of these men ain't no good. And I just thought that was really shady. I said, I see why she just don't be believing nothing that come out of these dudes' mouth. Because she done been through so much and seen so much with her dad and her mom relationship. It's just crazy. Ciao. Mm -mm. Moving on to Black Ink Crew. It wasn't too much stirring the pot. I kind of, it kind of, again, touched my heart. That, oh my goodness, there's something wrong with Duchess. I hope she be okay, because she's my favorite one on the damn show. Like, I love me some Duchess. I hope everything is okay. You know, there's something she might have to have surgery on her heart and to, to fix something going on. And I hope everything's okay. That explains why she been really kind of wilding out and, like, getting a little rah-rah, you know, because she's stressing out, she's tripping out, you know. But I hope Duchess is okay. And then, too, I hope C's don't go to damn jail over this child support stuff. But C, fellas, word of advice, that's what happened when you sleep with rats. You get the hood rats pregnant. Mmm. Mmm. That's why I say get you a Michelle Obama, a lady, someone with their head on their shoulders that's going places. They're not going to put you through that drama because they don't got time. They're trying to get to the next level, too. Hello. So I mess with them damn hood rats and you won't have no headaches. Hello, listen to me when I'm telling you. Anywho, but I do hope C's don't go to jail though, because then who going to run a damn shop? Because oh shit, he about two seconds away from going to jail his damn self over a gun charge, but your gun wasn't even his, it was a baby girl from the South. That don't make no damn sense. That make you not even want to go to New York like that. I don't know, B. I don't know, son. I'm just saying though. But, uh, Walter, I didn't know Walter had been through so much stuff. Bless his heart. Like, I almost shed a little, a little teary tear for Walter. He was talking about how he, he basically, Drake Storm start, the song started from the bottom. Walter started from the bottom, now you're here. I'm just saying, kudos to him because I give it to him. Because some people, they go through a lot of stuff, a lot of heartache and pain, and then they want to just give up on life. And I give it to Walter. He didn't give up on life. He kept it pushing. But he better stop closing the damn shop in the middle of the day to get a damn manicure. Psh, bruh. You got to be on your P's and Q's, boo boo kitty. Okay. And then um, another thing, too, was kind of funny. Okay. Puma, he's like really nice, he's cool, but him and Kwani are really getting married. Really? I guess everybody, I guess it's somebody for everybody, because when I see Puma, I just look at him and I be like, ooh, did he come from under my bed or something like that? A little creepy cow crawling. He not that looking, he not a looker, but it's okay, you know. Man, what's too much going on, Black Ink Crew? At Lala's Court, I just was thrown for a loop. How the hell you gonna have a season finale? And the damn show ain't even been on that long. A season finale. But I was like, I guess so. Go on here, Lala. Go out with a bang and stuff. But Lala needs to stop being selfish. I understand, you know, you want your friends to be around you and stuff. And you want to have fun. But, damn, your cousin is grown and Poe is grown. They got to live their own life. Like, damn, you can't be mama still nursing the baby with your titty. You can't do that, you know. You got to let they spread their damn grown wings and fly. Hello. But I'm just saying, it wasn't too much going on with that. But I will say, Lala's little baby, him is so cute. He is so cute. But he had to work on his little attitude, not speaking and saying thank you and shit. Because if that was my little baby, he would have got popped right for the camera. Pop, pop. Okay, we don't play that around here. You say thank you, okay? Well, people are nice and kind to you, okay? All right. But, yeah, it was too much ratchet, ratchet. You know, maybe next week it'll be pump, pump, pump it up. You know, Joe Button style. I, yeah, Kung Fu Karate. You know, some some good stuff popping up. I'm really excited, though, because T.I. 
And Tyne and the Family of Hustle is coming back to TV. And I can't wait to see that because I love me some T.I. and Tiny, baby. Yes. Yes, honey. And, oh, yeah, I got to get on the Braxtons because, you know, they just started. So, I'm going to watch a couple of episodes to keep up before I do a review on those right there. But I love me some Braxtons. And I love me some Tamar. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Tamar, girl. Being, you, being a little pregnant. You got a little baby bump carrying this little baby up in the tummy. So cute. I gotta say, she is the, one of the most, like, prettiest pregnant ladies I've seen since Beyonce. <laughs> you know, because Kim Kardashian, child, she's, she's not a cute pregnant lady. I'm sorry to say. People make you mad. They may say, oh, Kim's cute. Kim is not cute, and she needs to stop letting Kanye dress her looking like Beyonce stuck double and shit. It's not cute. That's all I have. Say, I don't want to go on certain rant, child. That'll leave that for another video. Okay. Well, as always, tell a friend to subscribe. Why don't you subscribe? You subscribe and you over there subscribe. Like the video. Pass it around to your friends. You know, share it on Facebook, Twitter, all of that. Holler at your girl. You know, if you talk to me, I talk back to you. So, you know, do all that. Make sure you follow the group, Girl Scouts. It's the page, the YouTube page is somewhere on that side. Click the link, watch our videos. We're funny and we're talented. Holler at us. You know, follow me on Twitter, Snow Bunny Smith. Follow the group on Twitter, Girl Scouts with a Z. Hello. And, you know, just check it out. What you got to lose? You ain't doing that no way but chilling at the house. Feel me? All right, y'all, I'm about to get up out of here because the sister is tired. I had a long, long day at work and at home and everything. And I got to finish um, going up in here and cooking this dinner. You heard me. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all later. Deuces.